learned from the You Can Play the Guitar book. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, Amy, is it hard? No, it's real easy. It's real easy? Mm-hmm. Maybe I can do it then. Yeah. I could get all my friends and we can learn to play the guitar. That'd be so nice. Okay, I'll tell Miss Adria. Okay. Can, yeah. Let's go get her. Oh, hi, Miss Adria. Susie was, she, she heard me playing and she wanted to learn how to play the guitar. Oh, Susie, well, where is she now? She went to get her friend, I think. Okay, well, she wanted to learn to play the guitar? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what? It is so easy to play the guitar, isn't it, Amy? Mm-hmm. And um, I kind of overheard you say that you learned through this book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and boys and girls and young people and moms and dads, this is a little book. It's a simple book called You Can Play the Guitar. And you can play the guitar. The guitar, I think, is one of the simplest instruments that you could ever learn to play. And it's very, very portable. Mr. Steve has one that he can carry in a... Oh, it's just the same size as yours, Amy. Mm -hmm. He can carry it on an airplane in the hand luggage. And it is so easy to play the guitar. And that's what I want to share with you today. And Amy, how old are you? Ten. Amy's ten years old, but when did you learn to play? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe when you're eight? You when think you've been eight. playing two years? Yeah? Well, you can learn to play the guitar. You don't have to be a big person. You can be a little person. I've heard of little children as young as maybe six years old, maybe younger, learning to play the guitar. And it is so easy, and I know some of you have had a secret desire <laughs> to play the guitar. Actually, for me, I had a dream that I could play the guitar. So I said, okay, I'm going to try. So it is so, so simple. And it's so simple because Miss Adria tries to keep everything simple. <laughs> I'm real simple. But anyway, you can play almost any song with three chords. What's a chord? They might say, ooh, what's a chord? A chord is how you put your fingers on the guitar. And we're going to learn three positions today. And those three, with those three positions that you put your fingers, you can play so many songs. I can play for hours and hours with those three chords. In fact, my children tease me and say, I know what key you're going to play in, Mom. <laughs> and now I've taught some of my children to play the guitar, and they play way better than I play. So Amy's going to be playing better than me soon if she keeps playing. But I just want to show you how simple it is. And first thing, I guess you need to get a guitar. <laughs> and I always try to play a nylon string guitar because guitars come with two different types of strings. And Amy has a metal string guitar. And metal strings are tougher on, they're harder on your fingers. And I like to play with the nylon string guitar. I have nylon strings. And what happens is as you push your fingers on these strings, your fingers get a little callus on the end of them. You got calluses, Amy? You get like a little callus. So when you first start playing the guitar, your fingers get a little bit sore on the ends, but it's not a bad sore, is it? No, <laughs> it's not that bad. They just get a little uh, sensitive on the ends. So you know what I did in the beginning was, as I started to play the guitar, I just would take my fingernail and I would punch my, the ends of my fingers a lot during the daytime to try to toughen up the ends of my fingers so that when I played the guitar, it didn't hurt so bad. And people who play all the time, boy, you should see them, they get these really nice calluses on the ends of their fingers. Sometimes Mr. Steve has those because he plays steel strings and he plays a lot. So, and also you need to get yourself a guitar and I would suggest you start with a nylon string guitar and try to get one that's small, has a small neck. This is called the neck of the guitar. And if you see Amy's neck on her guitar is smaller than mine. Mine is kind of wide. And if you write to us, we'll tell you where you can get this beautiful, nice little guitar. We have a man that orders these nice small guitars that are good for small hands. And bigger hands can play a wider neck. Okay, so we gotta get ourselves a guitar and preferably get one that has nylon strings to get yourself started. And then you need to get it in tune. Well, how in the world are you ever gonna get this thing in tune? Well, it's real nice if you have a friend that knows how to tune it. <laughs> and I did have a friend that could tune it for me. 
but actually these strings correspond to notes on the piano. So if you have a piano in your home, you can play the string and match it to the piano. And the first string is an E. It's a low E on the piano. This is an E. The next string is an A. Then the next string is a D. The next string after that is G. The next string is a B. And then we go back to E. So these are actually octaves apart right here. These top one and the bottom one, they're the same e E's, but this is a higher E, this is a lower E. And also if you go to the guitar store, they have this little thing that's like a little harmonica that only has one, two, three, four, five, six little holes. And you play it, you go like that. And it will help you to know what your guitar is supposed to sound like. You know what I used to do? I used to sit for a long time, and when my guitar was in tune, I used to play it. And I would just keep listening to that over and over again so that I could memorize how it was supposed to sound so I could tell if it was in tune or out of tune. So would you like to, maybe you have your guitar and you're ready? Are you? Okay, great. Why don't you try to tune your guitar to our guitars? And we're going to play the top string first. And if you don't catch it the first time through, rewind the video <laughs> and go back and try to get, get in tune because we're going to play some songs. And I'm going to show you where to put your fingers. And you can play this video over and over again and just play along with us. And that's a little secret. In the beginning, that's what I did. I played along with other people and I couldn't hear how bad I sounded <laughs> because sometimes people get discouraged when they first start because they don't push hard enough on the strings and the strings have a dead sound blah 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 and they go oh it doesn't sound good what's wrong well if you got that blah blah sound like that the problem is is you need to push harder on your strings you go oh but my fingers hurt well that's all right <laughs> endure it a little bit so you stand your fingers up more and push harder and you get a prettier sound and then always never push on the little metal pieces because that will cause your strings to sound bad too okay and another thing that you need to know is about frets this is each one of these divisions is called a fret and it's so important where your fingers are because if you play this is a D and if I play it in the wrong fret sounds totally different doesn't it so you have to know where to what fret to stick it in but first let's tune our guitar you ready okay this is the top this is the low E play yours Amy let's see okay okay the next one is an A string on my guitar so it may be going out of tune a little bit that's what new strings do they have to stretch so sometimes they go out of tune when you're first playing them okay now we're down to the G and a B and an E you know what I just noticed I noticed that Amy's playing with the pick. Show them your pick, Amy. <laughs> Amy's playing the guitar with the pick. Everybody, this is called a pick. It's a little piece, piece of plastic. Do you like to play with the pick, Amy? It, it helps it not hurt so bad. <laughs> it helps it not to hurt your thumb. Well, I, I don't like to play with the pick. <laughs> I'm different than you. And every guitar player is going to be different. I like to just use the side of my thumb, and some people put their fingers together and they use the top of this fingernail and the top of that one and they have their own natural pick which is their fingernails so sometimes I do get a little bit sore but I think you build up a callus on your thumb too from playing all right shall we show them how to play the first chord okay this is a D and this is how you play it you go down to the second fret and you stick your pointer finger 
the one you point with on the third string up and then you your the next finger next to it on the bottom string and then in the next fret put the next finger on the second string up okay and that is a D if you're confused about what it looks like you need to look in this little book and here's a diagram in here it's going to show you how to play the chords it has a picture now this is the bottom of the guitar as you're looking down on it so it's like this and you put your first finger second finger and third finger and then it also has a picture here to where you can see what it looks like so this book would be really helpful to you it has a D A and a G in it okay let's learn D are you ready stick your fingers back on there one two three okay now try to play it that is a D play it a little bit okay now let's switch to an A an A is so easy these are easy chords these are these are what they call baby chords I bet okay take your third finger stick it on the second string up then the next finger on the third string and the next on the fourth string up and they're second all fret. and the second fret that's right Amy it's very important which fret you stick your fingers in and they all they're like little friends they're all together there <laughs> and that's an A okay now try to play that now remember keep your thumb up now look Amy you got your thumb up do, 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 do. keep your thumb up because a lot of times when people start, they got their thumb down here and it's, it's all cramped up. Get harder your thumb. Harder to play that way. Yeah, it is harder to play that way. Get your thumb up, push hard down on the strings and try to not, don't lay your fingers down. When you lay your fingers down, you're touching other strings. So stand your fingers up nice and straight. Like you're gonna sit up straight, stand your fingers up nice and straight. Play your last string. Let's see if you're, oh, look it. Amy, <laughs> stick your three three fingers on there. Now let me play your last string. No, keep your fingers on there. Okay. Oh, listen, she can't play. Oh, look at that. She's t there. She goes. Don't touch your last string there, or it has no sound. Okay. That's why you gotta stand your fingers up nice and straight. Okay. The next chord, the third chord. You want the simple way? Let's show them the simple way. You go one two down to the third fret the very last string and don't play the don't play the top two strings just play the last four on the guitar that's your g hey you can do anybody can do that even the cameraman sitting here could come up and play a g a bit <laughs> remember third fret and just this one little string okay are you ready now in the beginning what i used to do is I used to say, okay, now I gotta get this memorized. Okay, I go D, 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 and then I go, I ch practice changing A, 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 and I would memorize it in my mind. Okay, this looks like a D, that's an A, and that's a G. That's a simplified G. If you wanna play it the, the unsimplified way, this is the way you play it. Okay, now, once you memorize that, you are ready to play hours and hours of songs. As long as it's not written in a minor key, you're doing great. <laughs> so sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm playing a song, and I go, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right, because the song wasn't written in a major key, it was written in a minor key. That's why it doesn't sound right. But just about any song in a major key, I can play it in D, A, and G. If you don't think I can, watch me. <laughs> okay, let's open up this book, and we're going to sing some songs here this is such a blessing you know it is a blessing to be able to sit down with a guitar and just sing to Jesus and worship him and so many times whenever I and I, every time when I sit down and sing with my heart to the Lord the Spirit of the Lord comes on me and you remember David in the Bible and how he sang with a harp and worshiped the Lord and you can sing and worship the Lord too the first song we're gonna sing is bless the Lord Oh, my soul. Ready? We're going to play it slow because you have your guitar, you're in tune, and you're playing with us. So we don't want to play so fast you can't keep up. Okay, you ready?
only three chords, everybody. And you can do that. You can do it. It is so simple. You don't even have to read music. And you know what? Some people, when they start, can't even sing on key. I know somebody that I love very much that started out playing the guitar and could not sing on key. <laughs> but they sang anyway. And they went out into the streets and they used their guitar to witness. And now they do sing on key and they write beautiful songs. Okay, should we turn the page? Mr. Steve said, who was that? <laughs> okay, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Ready? Every day. in the beginning you used the book but did you just sit down with the book or did you use the tape or how did you do it I didn't even use the tape I just used the book you didn't use the tape you didn't play along with the tape no I didn't. oh you just got she just took this book and you just sat down and sang with it well how often would you do that every day every day just every day you just sang to the Lord with the book and before long you could play that is really amazing isn't it so that ought to inspire you how simple it is. Okay, let's sing another song. We're d doing good. Oh, how about from the rising of the sun? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. From the rising of the sun. snuck in an extra chord on us. It was an F sharp. And um, if I don't know a chord, I just keep going anyway. <laughs> Once I taught this girl to sing and we, we went out and singing in Italy. And um, I told her, don't worry about what it sounds like. Just smile and sing loud. <laughs> and, and someone actually took a picture of us and went, at one point she was playing one chord and I was playing another. <laughs> so Anyway, the main thing is sing with your heart and play the guitar. And you know, boys and girls, Jesus really loves you. And there's a verse in the Bible, Philippians 4.13, that says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And you know, I really believe it's God's will for you to learn to play the guitar. 
because I know you can be a blessing to so many people if you learn to play the guitar. Teenagers, moms and dads, even grandparents. You know, when you go to a prayer meeting, when you're out at a camp, campfire, you can have your guitar and be a blessing to other people. And I know Jesus wants you to be a blessing, so I'm going to pray for you right now that the Lord will help you. And I know that if you do practice these three chords, you can do it. So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, we just thank you so much that just like salvation is so simple, that learning to play the guitar is very simple. We don't all have to be great guitar players, but we can play the guitar and bless other people. So I pray for that young person, that teenager, that child, that mom, that dad, that grandparent that's watching today. I pray, Father, that you will help them, that faith will arise in their heart, and they'll understand that they can play the guitar and be a blessing. And we ask you to please give them this gift so that they can be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And I'm sure that if you keep practicing these chords and you don't give up, you're going to be a guitar player. Jesus loves you, and He loved you before you ever loved Him. And we love Him because He first loved us. And Jesus loves you so very, very much. He died on the cross for you. The Bible says in Romans 5, 8, but God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You know, you don't have to be good for Jesus to love you. But Jesus loves you in spite of yourself, in spite of all the things that you might have done or not done, or all the love that maybe you haven't given back to Him. Jesus loves you, and He can come into your life. He can be your Savior, and you can be born again. And that is even easier than learning to play the guitar. All you have to do is bow your head right now and just say this prayer with your heart. Mean it and you will become a child of God. Your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and you'll have everlasting life because God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Won't you pray with me right now? Let's bow our heads and let's just pray this prayer right now. Just pray, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for rising from the dead. I thank you for rising from the dead. And today I invite you. And today I invite you to come into my life. To come into my life. I want to be a child of God. I want to be a child of God. I want to be a Christian. I want to be a Christian. Make me one of your family. Make me one of your family. One of your children. One of your children. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all the things I've done wrong. For all the things I've done wrong. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. And make me born again. And make me born again. And help me to live for you. And help me to live for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He loves you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Hey! Hi, Amy. I brought my friends. Oh, wait a
wait a minute. Where's Miss Andrea? Well, we, we were just finished. It was our first lesson. Oh, no. We missed it, guys. Well, you can order the tape. Tape? What tape? The tape of you can play the guitar. Oh, well, how do I get it? Well, I'll give you the address. Just write to the address? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh.